Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. Let me just quickly close the door. There we go. And whoa, and um so today's video is going to be about the potential and increasing potential for a rather significant system that will be again rather far to the south in terms of impacting the Midwest and the plains for March since this will be occurring this weekend and March 1st is tomorrow or tomorrow as I'm releasing this video, recording this video, so Friday, March 1st. And uh, it will track up the Northeast, so many locations will be seeing snow. And cities like New York City, Boston, in general, just the Northeast will get potentially hammered by this system. So very, very, very good news for the Northeast, for snow lovers. Um, I know it's a little bit late, and many might watch spring, but it's still better than nothing. I mean... You're still getting snow, so uh, take the opportunity to do uh, to prepare right now. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a massive system, but definitely a disruption. So let's take this. Let's just first uh, say uh, consider subscribing to this channel if you want to. And uh, also consider becoming a patron. The link's in the description box below. So I want to get that out there. Um, but this is what the, not going to weather, this is what the European model is showing in terms of snow for the snowstorm that will be occurring, the first snowstorm. Um, there will be, well, there could be a second one later on, but this one is going to be the, the first one. And we, we have a smaller little system across the north on Friday, not much, two, three inches across the north. And then we see another system right here develop across Kansas. So uh, Wichita, Kansas, I have a viewer from there, always complains getting no snow. Well, with this time, you might actually see, you know, some snow, quite a bit of snow, four to five inches, according to the European model. You can see Wichita right there in small letters. We go over it, 4.1 inches of snow. That's a very good amount of snow. Um, just south of St. Louis, potentially up to a foot of snow. We go into southern Indiana, central Indiana, eight inches into Columbus, Ohio, major city, around seven inches. Cincinnati, seven inches. Pittsburgh, around a little bit more, 10, 11 inches. New York City, again, right on the cusp. You could see um, anywhere from one inch to, in the north sections, up to six, seven inches. The central city, or, you know, the city itself, maybe around four inches but that could still change you can you know still go down significantly or still could go up significantly and um we go to cities like washington dc this is from that first little system um that is actually occurring right now so this storm won't have too much of an impact but um another city that will get impacted majorly boston 9.2 inches that's what the european model is showing this is still going to change and it's only one model we uh, we go to central new york where the amounts will be the heaviest, and you could see um, up to a foot of snow, definitely a possibility. And right off coast, coast around 20 inches, which if this shifts a little bit further um, into the land, you know, into Boston, we could be looking at a very, very, very decent snowstorm for the Northeast. Let's look at the GFS. The GFS, here's that first system that I'm talking about right now. Washington, D.C. may get an inch or two out of this, and this will be occurring tomorrow. And... Um, this actually, what the European model is showing here, or the GFS is showing here, is um, a completely even different storm than what the European model is showing. So you can see that it's showing a, that piece of energy that's, you know, that left that snow up north across Wisconsin. That's going to be occurring tomorrow. And that same system that occurs today lingers, or lingers around and pushes itself up to the north. And you can see it creates quite a good dose of snow for the Northeast. This would be to, uh, Saturday, March 2nd. And then we see that big system come through. So, I mean, I really don't know how the European model is seeing this uh, because it's just... Actually, I think we can look at uh, rain and precip because this model, um, you know, this uh, website isn't the greatest. But um, it definitely suffices our needs. So this is today. You can see that little small system. This is the European model, by the way. And you can see it goes up into the northeast, leaves maybe a couple of inches. And let's see if it does though that com do that. You know, does it combine these two systems, or like the GFS, or it doesn't? And you can see it does a little bit, um, but not uh, not not as much as a GFS. It has them a little bit connected, not as much as a GFS. And this would be around Saturday. Uh, and then we see a large system, I mean, very large storm going through and uh, impacting the Northeast. 
and you can see quite a bit of uh quite a bit of snow with that so um you could we could be looking at several shots of snow you know one right here for new york city then another one where it's going to be a rain snow situation and then uh, we get another system that's going to be probably the biggest out of all of them followed by very 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 cold air record-breaking cold air and that um sends you know the snow into new york city boston and rhode island connecticut all those beautiful states um, well, states and cities into a uh, into a snowy scenario. Then after that, we see much calmer weather, but very very chilly. You can see uh, here's the 32 degree line. Line that first blue line gets down into central Georgia or uh, Alabama, central Georgia, central uh, Mississippi. So very 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 chilly air going on. So let me show you the total snowfall in terms of the G. What the GFS is thinking. And you can see that this is what it has with um with the first system right there. You can see um across quite a bit of snow actually the GFS is showing to occur on Saturday, so we'll definitely have to watch this. But several systems headed for the northeast. Um, in in general is probably the best way to put this. So let's go to the northeast, and you can see um quite a bit of snow. I think it's a little bit over exaggerated. But it's definitely a possibility, especially if the system, the second one, um, starts to ramp up and really intensify using the moisture of the ocean to its advantage. Then we look at the third system. You can see um, putting in quite a bit of snow as well, uh, just um, uh, on top of that snow and just a little bit further or more widespread and a little bit further to the south than what the European model is doing. You can see that the European models isn't having the New York City. If you go to new snow, uh, accumulation. It's not having New York City completely in this, and it has more of central New York and pe central Pennsylvania and Boston, Massachusetts, a little bit in this, um, while this one is further to the south. So this one, if you want more snow in New York City, you want the GFS to be correct for sure. Um, uh, let's go to the FE3 GFS, another uh, family of the GFS. This one, uh, similar, but a, a little bit more widespread path. So we get that with that first system, uh, which is occurring right now on Thursday right there we see that as i'm recording this video it's occurring then we see that little system on saturday the fv3 gf is really showing not much with that second system and then that third system quite a bit of snow so uh which scenario exactly is going to be um tr you know happening i don't think i mean we don't know what i do think is that um I think that this first system that's occurring right now, so in the next 24 hours, I think it'll leave uh, quite a bit of snow across, not quite, but like maybe three, four inches across um, the mid-Atlantic region. And I think Washington, D.C. will get a little bit more snow than predicted right here. And New York City, maybe around an inch or two. And uh, we go through next three days, we see that. Uh, we see that second system starting. You can see the European model has it right off the coast, um, potentially you know 20 inches with this. If it, but if it moves a little bit further inland, we could be looking at a very intense storm for the uh, coast. And I think this will move a little bit further into the east or into the west. So we'll have to watch this, guys. This is a very uh, heavy snow event that could potentially occur. And then we see that last storm, which um, would definitely put things on. Um, over the edge with the heavy snow, especially if that first storm or that second one overlaps with that third one, that would be, you know, very, very, very heavy snow amounts. So let's quickly go to the, um, let's just go to a different part of the United States. Let's go, well, I guess we can't with this FE3 GFS, but let's see what it's showing for the other parts. And uh, central Missouri, the Ozarks, uh, St. Louis, around maybe up to a foot of snow, but generally 6 to 12 inches seems like a fair bet for most areas, which is very significant. Um, let's go to the GFS. I don't know if I showed you the central areas for the GFS. You could see, uh, again, a little bit less than the FE3 GFS, but uh, still showing quite a bit of quite a big storm with uh, 7, 8, 9 inches. Definitely a possibility for these areas. Um, the European for this part of the neck of the woods is showing fairly similar amounts around the Ozarks. You can see even actually quite a bit more than the FE3 GFS, more like the GFS, around 11, 12 inches. But I would say if you live in Missouri, especially southern central Missouri, um, 8 to 12, 6 to 10 is a fair bet. Um, the details will get fine-tuned as we go on, but uh, definitely one heck of a storm is coming towards us, guys. And, um, well, depending on where you live, because 
if you live in these these parts right here, the Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, Indiana, Kentucky area, northern Kentucky, one storm is coming towards you. That's going to be impactful. If you live in the mid-Atlantic, potentially uh, two, that first one today and that last one, the third one. And then if you live in Boston, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, we could be looking at uh, three systems. Um, well, yeah, three systems. The ones today, the one today may be impacting you slightly. And then we could be looking at that second one delivering quite a bit of snow if it really forms a little bit further to the west. And then we see, uh, that, that again, the third system, that bigger, more widespread storm. So uh, very active pattern, very interesting. Let's go to some of the mesoscale models. Let's quickly. Okay, we still got a little bit more time. And uh, this only goes through 84 hours, but you can see it doesn't show a lot at all for Missouri, uh, Central or Southern Illinois, Kansas, but it does start ramping these snowfall amounts once they uh, reach into, the, once the storm reaches into the Northeast. But you can see it has it further inland. It does not have it uh, completely um, along the coast. So here in New York City, Boston would be seeing rain. And uh, you can see that second system look very awfully close and potentially producing, you know, great amounts of snow if it really formalizes. And uh, the NAM, if you go to the north central, northeast USA, US, um, we could be looking, uh, let's look at the total snowfalls to get a better view. It has it just off the coast, but if you live on Cape Cod, I would definitely watch this system because this system could just shift. Look at that. Look at some of those mounts right there. They're still a little bit further out into the into the um, into the ocean. We see a foot more. So three systems, three very impactful systems will be coming, and they will be uh, embarking on the on the northeast, I should say. And let's see if the F, um, the her model goes through uh, this. Let's go to the long one. Let's see if it starts formalizing that storm. Um, okay, so. I, it doesn't go f out far enough in order to show you guys or show anyone the snow. But you can see it has it right there. Um, it, it doesn't really go out as far as it is um, to show you whether the Northeast is going to get impacted or not. It only goes out to around midnight tomorrow. So I mean, that's basically it. There's not a lot of warnings or watches up yet. There's a winter weather advisory for mid-Atlantic region with that first system, maybe leaving one to three inches. Let's click on Washington, D.C., the biggest city probably in this area. And wintry mix is probably the best way to put it. You can see uh, one to two inches, though, from the National Weather Service. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll con consider subscribing, consider liking the video. I will be getting a new computer. It's a desktop computer, so I'll be making potentially um, better videos with that. And that will come in the next couple of days. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.